Hi everyone, I'm Colleen and this is Nate. We're Navigate with Colleen and Nate, where we share our travel adventures. We are a couple who love to travel, explore new places, and have fun along the way. Join us as we show you the best spots, where to eat, and tips and tricks for your next vacation. Subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to navigate your world. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing our experience with renting an accessible cabana aboard our cruise with Celebrity Apex. We had a few challenges, and overall, we were left feeling a bit disappointed. We'll tell you about it in the video, including an overview of the food, service, and atmosphere. So be sure to watch until the end as we wrap up our final day aboard Celebrity Apex. Well, good morning, Navigators. It is day seven of our cruise here on Celebrity Apex. So sad, we've got the, uh, oh, it's actually under the camera here. The dreaded luggage tags showed up last night. This didn't show up, we were on one cruise once where these things showed up like four days before we got off the cruise. Like how depressing uh, is that? Anyways, we're gonna take you along uh, for something that we have never done and I don't think I've ever seen on YouTube, but uh, we are actually getting a cabana. There we go, cabana. So we got these lovely little cabana cars. Uh, but a little bit of a story with the cabana. So um, you can, uh, for the cabanas, you can actually buy them ahead of time. The celebrity app or uh, online you know, when you book your cruise you can go ahead and you can book that cabana this is what we did um, on there though there is nowhere to book an accessible cabana and on the edge class ships well at least this edge class ship there are two accessible cabanas one of the things that we did is when we first get on uh, we went right to guest services and we let them know that we had a reservation and we asked them uh, to make sure that we could reserve the accessible cabana which is, has a zero entry so the rest of them have like a little step accessible ones uh, there's two of them have no it's a zero entry so very nice and we were told sure no problem we'll make a note on your reservation and that is probably the mistake that we made, uh, which led to a little bit of drama yesterday. So last night, we got our cabana card. Um, and again, we had requested either cabana one or two, because those are the accessible ones. And as you can see here, we got this card. Oh, we got this card and you can see we were in cabana five. So of course we're like, okay, no big deal. It's the day before, uh, we'll, we'll call them up. By the way, each of the cabanas can be converted from a two person to a four person cabana. So there's a lot of flexibility. So you could literally have every cabana be a four person one or every cabana be a two person one if you want it. So we called uh, the number, uh, I think it was for like the beverage services. We told them the situation. They said, hey, we're not the right people that can help you. I need to talk with someone in guest services. So we went to guest services. Um, guest services was like, okay, well, let us make some phone calls. And like, well, we've made a note um, and they'll see what they can do. And I'm like, see what we can do. I don't want to, you know, I, we could probably get Colleen in one of the other cabanas, but like, you know, that means that every time she wants to get up, I've got to get up, I got to take her down. We were a little frustrated probably the nicest way <laughs> to put it. Um, a little frustrated, but uh, what I ended up doing was I reached out to the social media team uh, at Celebrity. So little fun fact, most um, companies now have direct messaging capability on all of their social media platforms. So this one was on Twitter. Uh, if you're not following us on Twitter, follow us on that. It's navigate with can, C-A-N, right? Because Twitter handles. Uh, reached out to them. They actually were super responsive. Let us know that they would look into it right away. And they looked into it right away, like literally within 15, 20 minutes, uh, they got back to me. They said, someone from the ship's gonna reach out. Uh, ended up the head of guest services reached out and we got the whole thing resolved. And now we got a new card this morning and we are now in Cabana One. Uh, so again, a little bit of a rough start to our cabana experience, uh, but we're not going to let that get us down. So like I said, Colleen is getting ready and we're going to head on up to the cabanas and show you what it is all about. Cabana day! Are you excited for your cabana? I am. I'm excited to get like my legs up and chill out and take you all along. We get a fancy lunch too and get like some snackies. So come along. Let's see what this cabana is all about. All right, let's get out of here.
Greg, what do you think, Colleen? I think it is amazing, and I'm very fortunate. And shout out to my parents for a little bit of a gift card to help with this purchase today. And I think it's a great way to end our vacation, relaxation, and uh, in the shade and not having to fight for a lounge chair, so. All right, so what do we have included is four large bottles of water, selection of six chilled beers, unlimited soft drinks, fresh fruit skewers, cabana food menu, Avion facial spray, ooh, ice cold towels, and then you get a choice of one bottle of Kittle One, one bottle of Captain Morgan, one bottle of Hendrix Gin, one bottle of Rose Champagne, which is what we selected, and one bottle of Mum's Champagne, or Mum's Champagne. Maybe we got the Mum's Champagne, I have no idea. Uh, and these two you can call the night before and tell them what you want. Oh, I have cocktails. Very nice. And here's the menu, the Apex food menu. Grilled chicken Caesar right up Colleen's Avenue. Chilled shrimp cocktail, roasted turkey BLT. The Lumine signature burger, I think I want to try that. Marinated chicken sandwich and selection of fresh fruits. But just various beers and alcohols and ooh, Red Bull. And anything else that you want here. So overall it looks great. So this is what maximum chill mode looks like. Very cool. Um, so quick question for everyone. So on the new, one of the newer ships, they've actually reversed the cabanas. So the cabanas actually face into the pool deck. I don't know. I would, I don't know. Why would I want to look at the pool deck? I mean, maybe it's because you get less foot traffic. You don't have people walking by you, but I mean, like, would you want a pool view? Would you want an ocean view? We have a beautiful ocean view right now. So I'm kind of like team ocean view. Colleen, what team are you on? I am definitely team ocean view. All right, so it's Nate, Colleen and Nate are team ocean view. So let us know down in the comments. Are you team ocean view or team pool view? Maybe I don't understand how the cabana is supposed to work, but we've been here. We saw our attendant at first. They came over, they brought some fruit got some ice and now it's been like an hour and they've just disappeared we were like looking to put some drink order in some lunch orders but I can't I don't see anybody even walking around which was kind of like this week when I was looking for someone to talk to them about the accessible cabana I could never actually see anyone working here I don't know this is just kind of a bizarre experience any other time we've ever done something like a cabana or like um, Coco K, right? There's like people walking around checking on you. So you're paying for the space, you're paying for some like food and drink and beverages, and you're also paying for, I thought, a little bit of a elevated service. And again, we're not that demanding, but like somebody walk by every 20 minutes and just kind of check in or every 15 minutes or just walk up and down. I mean, I don't know. It's just bizarre. It's very, very, very odd. So we'll, we'll keep you in tuned here, but I don't know. I may just have to go up to the bar myself and get some drinks because I'm not quite sure what's going on here. How's your uh, strawberry daiquiri there? It is very good and thank you for having to go run to the bar to get it. How was the waiter that brought you that daiquiri? He's really cute. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get his phone number. Yeah so Colleen's got the classic strawberry. I went with the, um, what's it called? The blue note? Though it's not yes. blue at all. I think they ran out of, out of uh, blue vodka. <laughs> then we finally placed our lunch orders. Yes. And you told them I was getting our drinks. I did. I said, you know, we didn't know how this all worked and no one was coming around. So Nate went up to the bar to grab us drinks. So we're starting off with a little shrimp cocktail and then we put in our um, main entree order. But hey, if we want to keep ordering, we're going to order till 2.30. <laughs> all right. So the shrimp cocktail has arrived and we're going to start off with a little shrimp cocktail. So what you get for lunch, Colleen? Um, I got a BLT wrap. It actually looks really good. Simple french fries. Can't go wrong with that. How about you? And I got the Lumine burger, which is only available in the Lumine restaurant. Unless you're renting a cabana. Then the burger comes too, which actually looks much better than the masked burgers. So those look good, but this looks really great. All right, bon appetit. How's your wrap? It's very good. Very good? Yeah, food is good. Um, I would say like company, Nate is fantastic. Neighboring company, a little obnoxious at this point. <laughs> 
kind of taking away, I think, from our relaxing ambiance of renting a cabana. And the cabana burger is very good, highly recommend. Um, and same sentiments with uh, Colleen, so you, you, you know, sometimes in life you just can't pick your neighbors. <laughs> That's how it goes. So, you know, it depends on your personality. Maybe that's your thing. You like a lot of like kind of, you know, loud yimmer yammer. You should have zero expectation of privacy here because it is on the main deck area. People walk by, that's fine. That's not been a problem. But again, you could get very quiet cabana neighbors and you can relax and chill out or you might get some people that are just, you know, having a little bit more fun. Fun, I don't know. Everyone has a different definition of fun. But anyways, I'm gonna get back to this this burger because it's not going to, it's not going to eat itself. All right, so we just finished up our lunch. Lunch was very good. Colleen, like, you like your, your wrap? It was delicious. It was delicious, so. It was good, now we're just kind of sitting and chilling. It's quieted down just a little bit. Have no guarantees that it will stay that way. Just gonna chill out here, and um, you know, we'll see you on the flip side, and then we'll give you our, you know, unless there's any more excitement to talk about, we'll give you our full overview of what we thought about this cabana, whether it's worth you spending, depends on the cruise, can probably vary, but you know, we spent $150, that seems to be the consistent price right now for these cabanas, for a two-person cabana. If it's a four-person cabana, do the math, just double the price. So uh, anyways, we're just gonna chill out and enjoy our afternoon. Later, navigators. Navigator, so as you can tell, I'm in lounge mood right now. So, um, one of the items that we get with the cabana is Avion spray. Nate and I were taking dibs, we figured they didn't have any Avion spray, but we asked, they do, so they're gonna be delivering it to our cabana shortly. Mist, mist. <laughs> All right, so a little more cabana drama. That chair that you're staring at was over there. There was a gentleman sitting there. Well, he was sitting over there. And someone else who's not even in this cabana basically told him the chairs are only for cabana guests. Get out. And then no one proceeded to even sit in the chair. But we're actually going to find out if the chairs that are lining the hallway here, so there's actually a bunch of chairs that line the hallway, they have similar matching furniture. Uh, we're going to find out if those are actually part of the cabana or if they're available for any guests. So we're going to put an end. But Poor guy was just sitting there, minding his own business, reading a book, and uh, one of the other cabana guests said, get out, this is our cabana, this furniture is here for us, leave. Um, and again, he wasn't even nice about it, um, <laughs> asking him to leave. So more drama in the cabana to come. Figured out the mystery of the chairs. So the chairs in the hallway are part of the cabana, and it's up to you, as the person who has rented the cabana for the day, whether you want to keep them for yourself or if someone random sit in there, or you can just kick them out. It's up to you whether you want to kick them out or keep them. So question of the day, if you rent a cabana and somebody's sitting in a chair 20 feet away from you, the technically I guess is yours because you rented the cabana, but you have no intent on using it. Do you kick them out or do you let them stay? Comment down below. All right. We received the Avion spray. It's actually chilled. It's very nice. He took the cap off for me. I think he thinks I'm going to use it right away, but I don't know. I think it's like maybe an end of the day mist. <laughs> so we're pushing this as far as we can. So with the cabana, as we mentioned before, you get six chilled beers. We're not really big beer drinkers anymore. So I've asked instead to see, can I get three Red Bull and three vitamin waters? So he's going to check now technically we have the premium drink package, so we could get this if we really wanted it. But we're just gonna test how far we can take it. Oh, there goes Colleen's cap. Uh, so stay tuned, do we get the Red Bulls and vitamin waters, or do we get rejected? If you can hear behind me, it's quite the party. So, if you're looking for a restful time at the cabana, not gonna be the place for you. I don't think Colleen's gonna be able to get that nap in. I think I can sleep through anything, but I don't think I can sleep through this. <laughs> so again, at least we're giving you the real experience. This is no filter on this experience at all. You're, you get to figure out. Maybe you like this, you know, you like the jam, you like the live music, you like the crazy, whatever they're doing in the pool right now. Like that, that's your jam. This is the place to be. If you're looking for a quiet relaxation, 
this is not the place to be. <laughs> so that's gonna do it for us, for the cabanas today. Actually, as we're walking through the solarium, celebrity product team, solarium cabanas. Folks that want a little more silencio. <laughs> the less party. <laughs> more silencio. Yeah. More, more silencio, less fiesta. <laughs> And then we're gonna give you our full review when we get back. All right, navigators. So this is the official recap of our drama in the cabana. Cabana. The drama in the cabana. Drama in the cabana. Drama in the cabana. So you're probably gonna guess where this video is going based on the comments that we've did so far. So yeah. So I think if we just state the facts. Facts. Um, and let you make that decision for you, and then we can kind of give you our thoughts, but. Um, I would say the attendants were somewhat attendant. Um, we had to do a little bit of chasing to get like, you know, drinks and put a food order in. But I think once they kind of got the rhythm going, they were there for us. <laughs> Just, um, they did kind of disappear at some point. Uh, so, and I don't think we were the only cabana guest today that made that observation. Um, our neighbors made that observation and quite apparent. They were not happy with the level of attention they were getting today. Exactly. The today, in one of, to paraphrase one of them. Today's the last day. It should be the best day. It should be the best day. It's not the best day. <laughs> uh, so the second comment is, is you never knew who your neighbor is going to be in your cabana. I would say that kind of that ruined will make that, our experience, yeah. to be quite frank. Uh, everyone has fun in different ways. Yep. That's all I'm going to say. It's, you know, it is someone's vacation, but it's also someone else's vacation, right? And I think that's the thing, is you're in a public place. You, this is not your living room. This is not your house. This is a shared space. Other people have paid for that same shared space. Yeah. And it's just like a common courtesy thing. Like, you know, I'm not about like laughing or having a chuckle every once in a while, but just like overly loud, swearing, profanity. A lot of that. Yeah, a lot of, um, I'm just gonna say it, misogynistic talk yep. um i'm sure none of the gentlemen i'm using that word loosely would talk about their wives that way in front of their wives just um not fun no. not fun not classy at all so again two and then there's the noise level of the overall pool so yeah. again we hadn't really sat out by the pool so we didn't know what to expect but it was i mean honestly it, was, it wasn't quite as amped up as like a royal caribbean but right. you know it also wasn't i was expecting it to be a little more chill yeah, there was like volleyball tournaments and aqua aerobics. Yeah, aqua aerobics in, in the, the middle, middle of the, of the day. day. <laughs> I mean, it's like, like where I mean, are uh, we? But along with that comes with like pumping music and mm, just... Mm. Well, then the band and then the band keeps going yep. and it's just like, I don't know what the atmosphere is they're trying to create on the... See, that's the thing. The ship is kind of conflicted. Sometimes it's like wants to be sophisticated and wants to be like this luxury experience, but then other times... It's like your crazy uncle at Christmas, yeah, you know, that it, maybe had one too many to drink. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. And that's the other thing too is, um, you know, with the cabana, they serve. You can get like a bottle of vodka. And we already talked about that. I'm just gonna come out and say that that's a bad idea. Yeah, I think that's a bad idea. See, celebrity, if you're listening, uh, is just people getting way overserved. Yep. You know, I agree. A bottle of vodka between four people, things happen. I think it'd be much better off just having drink service, controlling that a little bit, because you know. I think some of our companion, companions in the cabanas today are probably stuck more to the free water that <laughs> exactly. they were given. Well, I know vodka is in Russian technically is water, so I guess they did. So overall, um, for us, I mean, for me, I'll, you know, I'll let Colleen have her. Colleen, what do you think? Is it worth it? I do not think it's worth no. it. No. I mean, other than you're not necessarily having to fight for like a lounge chair, yeah. but I would rather get up at, you know, eight in the morning, get my little spot in the solarium, relax, read, have some quiet time, go, go on my merry way. But no, nope. and for me, it's a hard no. In fact, we have, we booked actually two days worth of cabanas in December. Those are getting canceled. Yep. So we will use the money for something else. Colleen actually suggested a, a spa day. So I think... I think in December we will maybe take you along to the spa here on that Apex. That sounds amazing. Anyway, so sorry if you were disappointed today, if you were like, oh, I really wanted to get a cabana, but hopefully now you can make an informed decision about, you know, is it the right thing for you? It might be the right thing for you right. still. Um, again, you gotta do you. But uh, other than that, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe, share this video, share it with someone maybe that you know is going on celebrity and they're maybe thinking about gaining cabana. Then, and other than that, we'll just say, 
See you later, navigators, and remember, navigate your world. world.